Did you buy a brand new Kenwood Exelon radio this year and find out that it doesn't have the HDMI input like previous years? No problem. We have a solution for that and we're going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. So for some reason, Kenwood came out with a whole new line of radios, the 4 Series. And what I mean by 4 Series is that the, the last digit is a 4. They had a 3 before, 2 before that, 1 before that. You get all that. Well, this year's 4 Series, they dropped the HDMI. Very weird. So if you had a 9903 and went to a 9904, you lost the HDMI input. I know what you're thinking. That totally stinks. But it's not the end of the world. We have a product here, the iSimple Media Links. And what this is designed to do, take a standard AV input and turn it into an HDMI input. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the radio first and see what we have to work with. So on the back of the Kenwood radio, you're gonna have what look like AV inputs. They kind of are, but what you have is a front facing camera, a rear facing camera, and then an, a video out for a rear screen. Over here, you're gonna have some USBs, you're going to have your preamp level outputs to go to your amplifiers. What you're looking for is this guy right here. And on the radio, it's going to say AVN. This is an audio video input. Now, the Media Links comes with standard red, yellow, white inputs, which obviously aren't going to plug into this hole. So Kenwood builds the radio. Obviously, they feel they don't have enough room to put a full set of RC outputs on the back. That's why they just give you the aux. They realize that that's the case, and they actually make a part so that you can do what we're describing. It's this guy right here, the CAC3AV. And what this is, is an auxiliary to RCA adapter. So now what we have is this aux jack right here that will plug into the back of the radio. This is going to give us our standard AV red, yellow, white that we can then plug into our media links. And all we have to do is match up the colors. Red, yellow, white. And that's really all we have to do on the back of the radio. So now that we're done with that, we have a standard HDMI input fed into the back of the radio. Now what you may be thinking is that, wait a minute, isn't HDMI just 1080? Yes. If I'm plugging an HDMI cable into an RCA jack, that can't possibly be 1080. And you'd be correct, it's not. The best that the iSimple Media Links will actually output is 720. However, your screen resolution is only 800 by 480. Correct. Which means that the HDMI input was really only giving you 480 output. We're inputting above what the radio was actually seeing before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this radio around, power it up, and show you actual screen sharing on the face of the radio. So once the radio is back on, go ahead and go into your sources and come over and go to AVN. Go ahead and select that. This is where the magic is going to happen. Now the Media Links cable is a female end, and most of the adapters you're going to put into this are also going to be female. So you're going to need some form of an HDMI cable to plug into it to give it a male end. Now, since we said of some form of adapter, let's talk about some of the different adapters that you may or may not need. If you have an iPhone, it's real simple. You just need the lightning to HDMI adapter from Apple. Any iPhone with a lightning adapter will work with this cable. Now, if you have an Android phone, it's gonna be a little bit different. Depending on how old your phone is, and by old, I mean like old, like three or four years old, you may have an MHL adapter. This technology is pretty much gone now. Uh, most phones don't use this, so this is very rare that you would need this cable anymore. We only keep one around in some odd case that someone has like a Galaxy 5 four. or yeah. 4. So, yeah, very few are going to be this. Next after that technology came this. This is Mirrorcast. Now, this worked on a Galaxy 6 and some 7s. It also worked on HTCs and Motorola's and stuff like that. So. This is a wireless technology that allowed you to connect it, no wires. It's got a little dongle here that comes in the box that would plug into the HDMI, and you'd be able to connect your phone over the dongle's Wi-Fi. This dongle actually creates a Wi-Fi network, which is a lot different than, let's say, a Roku or a 
Chromecast or yeah, a Fire yeah, Stick. Fire stick yeah. All of those devices need a actual Wi-Fi hub in the car because they don't create Wi-Fi. They're designed to pair to a Wi-Fi. So that was a big confusion with this piece. Now, naturally this piece is being replaced by this piece here. It's kind of come full circle. So if you have, let's say, a new Samsung Galaxy 8 or a phone that has a USB-C connector, you're going to want to pick up one of these guys. This is a USB-C to HDMI made by Samsung. Now, if you're going, wait a minute, what? I, I, do I, did you got a model number? No problem. If you go to, in the links below, you'll see a link for Dean and Fernando's tool drawer. If you go to that website, which is ours, go to the screen sharing section, we have links to all these products that we're talking about there if you'd like to go off and purchase them. Or you can just call Paul at the phone number at the end of the video. What we're gonna show you today is on an iPhone, but there again, it doesn't matter. Once you've gotten to this point, it's just a matter of getting the cable that's right for your phone. Let's go plug in your adapter, wake your phone up, and go ahead and plug it in. So now to go ahead and display your screen on the radio. If you have the ability to turn it, it will go ahead and turn. Now as you can see, I can do this, but I can't do that. Now once I'm here, I can pick whatever I'd like to watch. So if I wanna watch Hulu, I can watch Hulu. I can come in and I can go to YouTube. I can pick a show, go ahead and start watching it and I'll get volume and all that fun stuff. I can also come in and select my favorite navigation system, such as Waze, and have it display while I'm driving down the road if I like. Granted, I can't touch it, but I can still display it. So now I can watch anything that's on my phone on the face of my radio. Anything, it doesn't matter. It's going to clone your phone onto the radio. So whatever you got going on here, it's going on there. Fernando, if you please. All right, so if you like this video, please subscribe, share, like. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and also in Twitter. And if you'd like to ask us questions, yes, check out our Facebook Live show that we do every Monday night, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. And with that, you guys have a great night as always, and we'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.